Haunted workplace. A few years back, I worked at a correctional facility and witnessed a few strange things and heard of even more. The facility I was at had common rooms with sleeping rooms off on two sides for single occupants. At the time I worked there, there were two dorms vacant and temporarily one more was vacant. The first thing I personally encountered was at the back of one of these vacant dorms was a door to outside gated area that had to be checked every day to ensure was still locked and secured every night whenever someone entered that particular dorm. A young girl crying could be heard coming from one of the back rooms close to the shower and there would be a general creepy and depressing feeling to the whole room. The other event I personally witnessed, I was in the control center being trained to work that area and while we were going over the camera controls in the transport bay, which was empty and secure, a hand suddenly covered the camera for about three seconds. There was no one in that room, as we would have to grant access to the room after request by radio. Also, the camera was ceiling mounted and 15 feet off the ground, and there was nothing in the room even close to tall enough to climb on to reach that high. One of the encounters I was not present for, but was told by my superior, was that during a headcount at night, the count came up to one too many in the dorm. After two recounts and come up with the same wrong number, the control center turned the camera to that dorm and saw a figure sitting at the table in the middle of the room that the guards were not physically seeing, but subconsciously counting as a resident of the dorm. There was also a figure in a black outfit that would pass by windows at the hall at late evenings or night that more than a few people had seen. The last thing I had been told of one of the residents that was in the lockdown complained to me several times that on nights that happened to be a full moon, he kept being woken up, being unable to scream for help, and having something he couldn't see, trying to pull him into the wall. So today I was told my workplace has a ghost. So I'm joking around with some coworkers this afternoon. Typical Friday, end of a busy week banter. One coworker says how if something's going to happen, it'll happen to her. Must be jinx, etc. I tell her to do the old salt on the thresholds, burn sage, yada yada yada. The one next to her says something about the ghost in the building. I'm thinking she's joking, so I play along. No, I'm serious, she says. Now what do I do? So I ask the first woman. What's she talking about? Oh, the ghost back there, she says, pointing in the direction of my office. Not feeling so good about that, but I play along, thinking this is all a big joke they're all in on. I push for more details, thinking I'll get them to break. Oh, it's a ghost of a young guy and boy. He was killed back there and his ghost is there now. Still not wanting to believe or fall victim to a joke, I reply with, Oh, killed outside in the parking lot, street, etc.? No, in the back where the file archives are. Oh, this is just wonderful. That's where my office is. No, they're, they're not budging on the story. I'm about to say, okay, you got me, joke's over. When yet another coworker happens by. Yeah, there's a ghost of a young guy back there and proceeds to mention two other workers by name who've seen the apparition. This is what pushed me over the edge. This last coworker is a really low key, quiet kind of guy. He's not one for pranks, jokes, etc. Now, now what do I do? I've had previous experiences with the paranormal. I know there are things that we have yet to understand, but I like to keep an open mind. The news, on the other hand, has me freaked. Do I bring up the topic again and risk lo looking like a fool? Do I just let it go and hope to forget it? I try looking up information on the net, city records, police records, etc., but haven't found anything. Any thoughts? Potentially Haunted Workplace Hey guys, first time poster on this sub, but not much of a story, but I had a couple spooky moments last night at work so I thought I'd share and see what you guys think. Also, I'm a mobile so forgive me. I work at a liquor store, a small weird little store that was formerly a bottle depot. There's two floors, the top floor being an office space with a bathroom, and the first floor consisting of the sales floor, a huge back room and cooler where we store the beer and a receiving room at the very back of the store. All these areas are relevant to the story. There's also a large inn next door, but I'll talk more about it later. I like working at the store. The location means that we don't get many, many customers, save for the odd trucker or inn patron. 
Myself being quite introverted, it's nice to be just able to sit back with a book and get some time to myself. However, the store always sort of creeped me out, especially the back room. I I'm not too sure why. I guess because it's very large, with no other sound other than the AC units, keeping the beer refrigerated. But it always gave me the feeling that someone was watching me. Well, last night, about an hour and a half before closing, I was doing my normal duties of washing the floors and pulling bottles forward. There were no customers in the store, and there was no sound other than the radio. Suddenly, I heard someone whistle a tune. It, it wasn't a specific song, just three seemingly random notes. I knew it couldn't be the song on the radio, because I had already heard the same song play earlier in the day. It was also too clear to have come from outside. I was a little creeped out, but I moved on pretty quickly. About 15 minutes later, I went to put the mop bucket back in the receiving room, the room that freaks me out the most, but unfortunately, where the mop is stored. Upon entering the room, I heard the muffled sounds of a woman's voice, very brief. Not loud enough for me to hear what she said. I, I only heard it once. But I didn't stick around long enough to hear it again, quickly dumping the bucket and getting out of there. Finally, at closing time, I did all my closing duties, cashing out the till, turning off the lights, all that good stuff. I was still pretty disturbed about the stuff I heard earlier, so I was excited to leave. Before leaving, I went upstairs to get changed and use the bathroom. Now, something I forgot to mention is that on the top floor, there's a small window that overlooks the back room. Curiosity got the better of me, and after using the washroom, I figured... I take a quick peek in the window to see if someone was in there. I didn't even make it all the way to the window when I heard a very loud thud, like a large, heavy bug being dropped coming from a small room on the top floor. Well, needless to say, I was out of there. I ran downstairs, grabbed my stuff, turned off the rest of the lights, armed the alarm, locked the door, and hightailed it to my car. I'm not sure if anyone had died at the former bottle depot, but what I do know is that at the end next door, a woman was found dead. Wristlet? In a bathtub in one of the rooms. I don't know the whole story, but from what I read online, it was found to be a murder rather than a suicide. So, so what What do you guys think? Did the woman's presence come over to my store, and, or am I just paranoid? Also, if you guys found the story interesting, let me know, and I'll keep you posted on any other weird experiences that may happen there. Little Goes Big City, Confessions of a High School Teacher and Medium Let me start by saying I feel punny this morning, and I'm very proud of my post title. Now with that being said, my good mood was nowhere to be found the past few days. Some of you may have read my family farmhouse experiences a few weeks ago. Given the warm responses I received, I felt inclined to talk about something much more current. I am a high school teacher in downtown Pittsburgh. Our school is located in a historic building. Many of the buildings down here are original with cosmetic updates. I am also a psychic medium. Wow, that seems kooky to actually write out, you know? Now, to be specific, I am clairvoyant, meaning I can see dead people and other spooky things that are not at all human. Teenagers are emotional, and they bring a lot of baggage with them. This includes baggage of the dead type. I have seen doppelgangers, a man hanging in an unlit room, people attach to the backs of students as they sit in class. But the story I want to tell is something I believe original to the building or location, not the students. I should add, our school has black marble in many spaces of the school. Our bathrooms are floor to ceiling quartz and marble walls. So are our main floor and each elevator lobby. If you are someone into crystals and natural materials, this may interest you in connection with the activity. There are three spirits that have been bothering the most the past few months. Spirit 1, I call her Dirty Feet, when in the bathroom or sometimes in my classroom, I can see the knee down to feet dirty legs, dirt and moss, human waste on them. The spirit smells musty and likes to scare ya. Spirit 2, in our student stairwell, there is this solid black figure, black like coal, a, a man with a wide grin and red eyes. He seems to breathe like a smoker heavy, and steam coming off of him, this is not so surprising, as there are many fights and turmoil happening in the stairwells on the daily. Other teachers have commented on how much they dread stairwell duty, not because of the kids, but because the feeling of dread and anxiousness they get. Spirit 3. This bitch ass is old. I do not get scared much anymore, however, 
This guy made me physically run out of a room. There is a feeling of heaviness and being watched in our basement classrooms. In this room, I also have my printing press kept. I am in the basement, a lot to manage the press, typically alone. Last week, I unlocked the door to the room. I saw the deadbolt unlatch, but the door would not open. I first figured something was in front of the door. The room tends to be messy a lot of times. Maybe someone left something in there and didn't move it out of the way, so that's why I couldn't open the door. Thus, I push on it with my body weight. Eventually, I was able to push it open, slowly though. When inside, however, I look around the door, but but nothing was there to make it stick like that. Once open, it swung freely back and forth, back and forth. I then remember that this is the only entrance and exit, so there is no way something, something was in front of it. I went about my work, but felt very uneasy the whole time that I was doing my work. I was not picking up on anything spooky at all, though. No, no ghosts inside at all. Just, I don't know, just, just, just that feeling, I guess. The tingle between my shoulder blades. I kept looking over my shoulder all the time, but no one was there. I started to lock up, turn the lights off, and did something every dumb white girl does in a horror movie. I turn around. I shit you not. In the back of the room by the printing press was a tall man in a hat with a yellow teeth grin waving at me. I've never left a room so fast in my whole entire life. I almost forgot to lock the dead ball. Now, I, I, I do have a th few theories about this waving man. I do not think that he is the infamous hat man. I have seen the hat man. And it's different. It's very different. He's dreadful, but not mockingly evil. And I could see this waving man's face. I could never see the hat man's face. He didn't have an earthly face. Now for the strange part, horror loves. We'll know the disaster that is Poltergeist 2 with the creepy singing reverend. Well, I, a woman who sees dead people all the time, is deathly afraid of that character. And the waving man looked just like, you know who, the bitch ass reverend. I believe whatever is down there is not human at all, not good and also not from a movie, but projected itself to be something I have a strong fear of to scare the shit out of me like that. And it worked. I, I am terrified. I couldn't even tell my fiance about the encounter without without getting choked up. That is so, so not typical of me, you know? I, I have to go back down to that room to work. Yesterday, I heard mean laughing went down there no matter. I have a job to do and cannot avoid the area. Try as I might. P.S. I am not taking any forms of medication at all. We also get our medical level checked all the time because we are out of school, so it's not the air or the CO2 at all. Update. I guess I am a medium? Also, I got some crazy info from my birth father that explains my abilities that I've never ever known before. Ghost in the Workplace I work in an old historical hotel. It used to be a brewery, actually. Some creepy things seem to be happening in it. On the second floor in room 217 sometimes, I can hear music coming from the room right next to it, when it is clean and vacant, and my partner cannot. On the third floor, room 300, the curtain to the window will open by itself, and the bathroom door closes while I am in there cleaning. Standing in the longer end of the hallway on the third floor, at the end of the hallway next to 309, there is a strange feeling, like someone is standing by 301, staring back at you. On the fourth floor in 425, I had arranged my shampoo, conditioner, lotion, and mouthwash like I always do, then I clean the tub, toilet, and floor. I looked up, and they were all rearranged, all backwards and strange. Then. On the fifth floor, our penthouse suites, 504 and 500, just really strange stuff happens. There is also an elevator we take to get to the fourth floor to the fifth with our cards and sometimes it refuses to let us off when we need to get off of it and we'll bring the housekeepers to the bottom floor and back to the top, skipping the floor we need to go to get off on again. 
Other housekeepers have had other experiences as well. Guests also have. Any thoughts?